Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Insider. Here's how to build dream house in Bloxburg. Number one, front of the building. To start with the house you intend to build, you need to finalize the look and style of the front of your house. You need to conclude how the outlook of your house should be. For the sole purpose, you need to come up with a plan that might look best when the people give a good glance at your house, as the first thing that comes into notice is the front view of the particular house. So getting into it, to start with the ultimate house build, you need to first come up with the basic design, layout, and makeup of the front view, and to that, if the house you're building is going to be a single or double storied. Moreover, the color of your house plays a different important role in the exterior of the house, and is something difficult to decide, as it gives you your house a wholesome look and tends to make it look classy or elsewise. So one may take enough time to settle on a base color making sure the house looks elegant and stylish enough. After that, you need to know the number of windows you want to add to your house's layout to give it a look you want to desire. Deciding on the color of your window panels and their placement, and moving forward, add the front door to which you want to put the house, making a certain choice. Coordination of colors and style in a house's frame is very important to have to make sure the door is simple, stylish, elegant, and has a similar style to the windows, to give it an aesthetic and modern look. Adding a garage door is always an option and is totally on you, whether you want to include it or exclude it. It always looks better than what you had before with a similar and coherent color palette. To make it more fancy, exclusive, and unique, you need to add pillars, and pillars give the house a royal hint, so add to it to the infrastructure on both the side of the chosen front door and by the other optional things you want. Remember one thing, the pillars is the classier the house would look. It would give a modern hint to the fundamentals of the house, and now that you have the front of the building, you can lead up to other errands as there's a lot to do in building a house. Through the gray. Number two, mapping out your house. After adding the front porch and all the other accessories to the house you want, let's move on to the next important step, creating a map. Without creating a map, it's not possible to build a house. This is a known fact. Creating a map not only makes your house look better, but it also gives it a hand in making it look bigger than it actually is. So for this, you need to create a map of the house. On the entrance beside the door, you can place the stairs that lead up to a second floor of the double-storied house, where you can start mapping out the rooms, planning on which one should be bigger or elsewise, which rooms should have bathrooms or balconies, adding the railings of the balcony where needed. Coming back down to the same stairs, do the same thing to the ground floor, specify the rooms and start adding to walls to your rooms and putting different kinds of furniture and wall hangings to get started. Additionally, as said before, pillars give a modern, chic, and grand look to the house, so add it under the passage and in front of the stairs of the house. The first map of the house doesn't have to be the last, so don't hesitate in changing and upgrading what you think should be different, and what should be added and upgraded. Adding doors and windows is totally optional and should be added if needed, but do remember that the color and style should be coherent and should coordinate it. Another tip to make your house far more better is to install archways to the house and have them with the same color palettes. Now that you're completely done with the creation of the map, let's dive into further stuff needed to build the house. It should be no bigger than a 3x3, and if you're going to be making bathrooms, then they shouldn't be bigger than- Number 3, designing the first floor. Now let's get into the decoration and designing of the house, which plays a vital role in making your house look like your dream house. To get started on decorating it, one primary aspect you need to keep in mind is that plants always give the place a natural sense with fresh air around the house, along with a touch of modernity and enhance the inner beauty of your home. So placing them around your house is a plus point. Install shelves, whether it be a bookshelf or any other one. You desire on the wall, put little books and plants on them, and voila. It will automatically add beautification to your house and make it a lot more homey. Adding lights illuminates everything and gives your house a bright and look, so adding lights to your house would make it look decorative and exquisite, and you can also start adding lamps and add lights all around the house, on the walls, at the corners, beside the furniture, or as you like. Flooring should be according to the designated rooms of the house. Once you've decided what room you want for your needs, start adding to the main furniture of your house, such as dining tables in the dining hall. Rugs add grace and give a modish touch to your place, so to complete the look of your house is the best option. Place couches and cushion in the required rooms, and curtains in the rooms that have windows, intended to block the light. To make your house look fancy and high-toned, place wall hangings and little art pieces to every room as it usually adds a really nice and modern touch to it. Then moving on, on the ground floor, television is a must nowadays, so having it in your house is a mandatory. Add sofas and formal chairs to the living room along with a fireplace, some facing the televisions and some facing the fireplace. Add a kitchen and it should have a fridge, a stove, a number of cabinets for kitchen essentials, and a microwave. Other than this, the other lights that are attached to the walls on the house place beautiful and elegant lamps at every corner of the house, giving your house a sophisticated look. These are some vital things you have to have in your house, and other than this, there's the ample of things, many more decoration things and furniture you can add to your house, giving it the look that you yearn for. Yeah, I'm, I just did this, and now I'm just gonna make but this brings us to the end of our video i hope you enjoyed it hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future also watch the two videos that are on your screen
because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.